Welcome to Advaita and in this video series we were looking at the reality transurfing model and the 78 concepts and principles of reality transurfing. So the second principle is about hacking the dream. Now let's look at what it says. Right now embrace the awareness that your life is a game which you have been pushed into playing. While you are mentally engrossed in the game you can't objectively evaluate a situation or influence the course of events in any significant way. So first come down into the audience hall, take a good calm look at everything around you and say to yourself, in this moment, I'm fully awake. I'm aware of where I am, what is happening, what I'm doing and why. Then walk back onto the stage and continue playing your role while remaining the witness. Like any other member of the audience, now you have a huge advantage, awareness. You have hacked the game and acquired the ability to control it. Let's now look at the interpretation of this. When you dream, you are at the mercy of circumstance. When we are unconscious and when we unconsciously involve with this world, we are dreaming. So the idea is for us to wake up. The rational mind sleeps and accepts everything at face value as if everything were unfolding as it should. Waking life is pretty much the same. You might tend to think that reality is something that exists independently and that you are powerless to influence it. You are mostly resigned to your lot. The set of capabilities given to you and the conditions of the environment in which you have to exist. All you can do is go with the flow that of fate from time to time making minor attempts to assert your rights. Is it really possible to change things? To right, it is, and you will. Until now, you have probably perceived reality as you were taught to. Now be aware that reality is like a dream. You can only control the situation through lucid dreaming. On stage, everyone is playing a role and all actors are interacting with you in one way or another. They might expect something of you, make impositions, requests and demands. They may help, abstract, love or hate you. Look at the game consciously from a distance and then you will understand it all. We are talking about waking up from the dream. In the previous principle, we understood that the entire physical reality is Maya, which is an illusion. So whatever we see as something that is very real, all of it is just a mirage and it is just an illusion. The author is asking us to understand this, to recognize the reality for what it is. And in doing so consciously, we will wake up from the dream. And then by waking up, we will access our true potential and our true power and will have control over life. So this is what it is all about, having control over our existence and having control over our lives. So most of the people live lives unconsciously without exercising their true potential and their true power that they were born with. So once we start understanding these concepts and once we start becoming more and more conscious, our life starts changing. We will then have more and more control over our circumstances and our life itself. And this is what this concept is all about, which is taking control of our lives. So I hope this principle was helpful. And in the next video, we'll look at the next principle, which is the child of God.